a sales engineer at Kians. Mm. Uh, it's my pleasure for me today to demonstrate one of our best product. Thank uh, you. This is the LRW series. Mm. This is a product that I'm introducing today. Mm. So uh, normally, like the other sensors, this one detect an object based on the prison and absence. So I will demonstrate it right now. Uh, this is no object, and whenever there is some object in, so the light here will be on. We have a big light indicators, so no objects and with objects. That means that you can see, you can monitor the sensor from far away. Okay. And uh, let me introduce to you how it looks like first. Yeah, hold it. What do you think? Very solid. Right? Solid, mm -hmm. heavy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Not heavy. heavy. Not strong. Heavy. Strong. So the so case actually made out of stainless steel. Mm. So uh, even when you accidentally hit it, it will be fine. And uh, the, uh, the glass you see right here is scratch resistant. So it can withstand a harsh environment. And also, um, the LED that we're using is very bright white LED. You see, very bright spot. Uh, for this model, the detecting range is about 500 milli millimeters. Uh, mm, 500 millimeters. But we have, we equip it with a very bright LED that you can see from a far distance. And also, this one features a dial that you can change the spot size. So I will change the spot size of this for that one. Yeah. So you see, very bright and focused. Yep. Okay. So uh, this sensor, they detect based on colors. So when there is a color difference, they detect an object. I will show you that. Give me seconds. I will change the spot size to uh, smallest. Okay. And uh, you can see right here, I have two different colors. A green color and blue color. Okay. So detecting based on color meaning that when there are different in colors, green and blue, the light will be on. But if there is same color but different level, this will not be on. Uh, different color it will be on. Even this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what does that mean? That means that this one can withstand uh, a good vibrations. So let's say you have a conveyor belt right here, and uh, when the conveyor belt moves. It creates some vibrating. So I will using my screwdriver to simulate that vibrating. So I will put it right here. So when there are no objects, vibration. Very stable. When there are no objects, then vibration happens. Okay. Very stable. The light will not be on or off. So very stable under uh, vibrating conditions. Okay, and uh, next point is I would like to demonstrate to you uh, how easy it is to set up these sensors. Yeah. So uh, let's say I want to distinguish between uh, the gold colors and the silver colors. Very easy. You put on the gold colors. You uh, hit set for three seconds. This is the set button right here. Mm -hmm. You're holding set for three seconds until the light is blinking and then you release and they're done okay so no objects with objects no objects with objects so that is differentiate two colors how about uh, if you have a line with multiple colors mm -hmm. for example right here i will uh, distinguish the white color compared to all other colors okay so in simple too you put the white color in you hit set for more than three seconds until the light is blinking release okay so white light no detections but if it's not a white light then it's detections mm. Mm. yeah 
uh, without sensors, you can also detect a harder, difficult object. object. So I have right here a uh, metal object, uh, and you can see that mm, they look alike. They look like the same, but actually the surface finishing finishing is different. This one is more shinier. Please, please see. Uh, this one is more shinier, and this one is less shinier, and the color is different too. If you uh, rotate it. All right. So our sensor can detect it uh, stably too. So you put the object in, you holding set for three seconds, and then done. Okay. Mm. No object, no object, no. So in the case that it's not stable like this, uh, we have another function called two-point calibrations. So for harder object like this, I recommend to you the two-point calibration. Set and set. Okay. So now, no objects with objects, no objects with objects. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Last point. Uh, let's say you have an object with varying colors. So there is a red right here, and there is a orange color right here. And uh, normally, if you use the normal mode, okay, holding set for a few seconds, this one we detected as two objects. It's one object. But because you're using the normal mode, it's detected as two objects. In this case here, uh, we can use another mode called master calibrations. You hold short set and then hold long set for a few seconds. And then when it's blinking, uh, you can have the beam spot move to the whole objects. You will see the green light blinking right here when there are new colors. Okay, green light, new colors, new colors, new colors, new colors. Okay, done. And that's it. The whole thing right here will be detected as one object. I will show you.